All right, guys, so to get this job done, you're going to need a one-fourth. And as you guys can see right there, right? And you can use a screwdriver. You can use a Phillips. Or you could use a flathead. And something actually got stuck inside this, uh, inside my uh, motor and my garbage disposal. So a way for you guys to fix this. It's real easy. Instead of going to, to actually go buy a new motor, I'm going to show you guys a very simple way to fix this. So as you guys can see, up here, you got four screws that's actually in, that's holding this motor, right? So what you're going to do is take those four screws out, then it'll be able to drop. But before you do all that, you're going to have this pipe right here, right? You got this pipe. This pipe actually going to go in here. All right, and then you're gonna have that part gonna go in there, as you guys can see. Y'all see that? It's gonna go right in there, which I'm not putting it back in yet because I gotta clean it all up. Y'all see how dirty these pipes can get? Okay, so then you got another one right here, and you're gonna take that one up. And there's actually a clamp. Let's see if I can find it. It dropped somewhere here. All right, so this clamp actually go around it. Let me show you guys real quick. So, there we go. So, this clamp actually just goes around here. Right? And then you're going to put that. Okay, it goes like that. So, all you're going to do is just unscrew that clamp. Take it off. And then once you got those two off... Then you take the four screws off, right? And then after you take your four screws off, then you will actually see the top of the motor where the dispenser actually crushes everything. So once you see the top of that, you're basically gonna look for things that's probably blocking it from spinning. And there's a reset button. There's a reset button, right? Let me see if I can kind of show you guys let me turn the light on so y'all can see okay y'all see that little reset button right there right so you're gonna push that reset button to reset it then once your motor if it's trying to start and it it doesn't start that means there's something stuck in it so after that you should be good to go so once you got it started back up, you're gonna put everything back together and boom, you'll have your garbage disposal working again. And that is it guys, to save you money instead of going to go buy a brand new motor, it wouldn't be worth it. As you guys can see here, I got everything actually put back together and bam. There you go. Save you some money. Don't go out there and buy a motor because most of the time it's something just clogging it up. Have a blessed day, guys. Thank you.